Hello everyone, welcome to Kashiano Easy Math. To this video we have here a cubic equation. 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3 equals 0. So we're going to solve for the values of x. And so before we start, for those new to my channel, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. And so let's go ahead with our solution. So first we have to make sure that the cubic equation is on its standard form. That is a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d equals zero. And if we look at our equation, we're missing one term that's uh, in the form of x right on here. Right, so our equation could be written as 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 0x plus d. That's d is negative 3. Or at least just do this as negative 3 equal to 0. And so if you notice our equation, the leading coefficient is 2, not 1. Normally, what we have to do is make the leading coefficient as 1. Since in here we just leave it as, as is, as 2. So what we're going to do next is we're using the alternate term method. Here if we find these uh, two terms, alternate terms, the coefficient, the sum of the coefficient of the alternate terms to be the same. Like in here, 2 plus 0, that's 2. And then 5 minus 3, that's 2 again. So since these are the same, this simply means that one of the values of x is negative 1. And so next is uh, we need to find the other possible solution or possible value of x aside from negative 1. So if we add all the coefficients of each terms, that should add up to 0. So let's do that. So in here we are adapting this format. A, B, C, and D is equal to 0. So A plus B plus C plus d is equal to 0. So here a is 2 and b is uh, the coefficient of the second term x squared as b is 5 and the third term since the third term is missing that's 0 and the last term called d as negative 3. If this is equal to 0 then one of the values of x must be positive 1. 5 plus 2 is 7 minus 3 is not equal to 0. This simply means that x is not equal to positive 1. To find the other factor of our equation from here is to do synthetic division. So in doing synthetic division we have to collect all those coefficients of the terms of the cubic equation. So the first term is 2, it's positive, second term is 5, third term is 0 and the next term is negative 3 and we have the first value of x that is negative 1 from here so we have negative 1 on here and we bring down 2 and multiply negative 1 by 2 is equal to negative 2 then add so we have positive 3 times negative 1 that's negative 3 add again that's negative 3 negative 1 times negative 3, that's positive 3, or 3, then negative 3 plus 3 is 0, so remainder 0. And so the, these are the coefficients. 2 is the coefficient of x squared, so 2x squared. Then this positive 3, that means plus 3x, and then negative 3 equals 0. So what we're going to do is use the quadratic formula. Two find the value of x. So x is equal to minus b, that's b is 3, so minus 3 plus or minus square root of b squared, that's 3 squared, that's 9, minus 4 times a is 2 times c is negative 3 all over 2a. So 2 times 2, that's 4 have here value of x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 4 times 2 8 times negative 3 is uh, 24 
So positive 24 all over 4 this is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 33 all over 4. So we have here the values of x. x is equal to from the first value is negative 1 and negative 3 negative square root of 33 over 4 and the last one is negative 3 plus square root of 33 divided by 4. So these are our solutions to this equation. And so thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, just don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. All right, I would appreciate it. Hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload new videos. Have a great day everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.